Hello, and welcome to the Using Traced Act to acquire, analyze, and display data and to generate signals demonstration. Traced Act is a suite of virtual instruments that requires no programming experience. It supports most MCC DAC devices and can be installed from the MCC DAC software CD or as a download from mccdac.com. Traced Act consists of the following four virtual instruments. The strip chart, which logs and graphs data acquired from analog and temperature inputs, digital inputs, and counter inputs. The oscilloscope, which displays values acquired from analog inputs. The function generator, which generates waveforms for analog outputs. And the rate generator, which generates waveforms for counter and timer outputs. After you add the device to the InstaCal configuration, run Tracer Act on the Windows Start menu. The strip chart will be demonstrated first. Select the strip chart option and click Run to launch the strip chart. Select File, New to open the DAC Hardware Settings dialog box to select and configure a device. Click on the arrow in the first cell of the DAC device column to display a list of all available devices. Select the MCC device you want to use with the strip chart from the list box. A USB 1608GX2AO is used for this demonstration. A default channel and the default range or mode are automatically added to the DAC channel and DAC range mode columns. Right click in the first cell in the channel column, channel 0 and select Autofill All from the pop-up menu. The next three channels are automatically added and configured with the same range as channel 0. Click OK to save the settings. Now, let's set the scan rate and the duration of the scan used by the strip chart. Select Edit Scan Rate Trigger Settings to open the Scan Rate Trigger Settings dialog box. Tracerdac automatically validates the scan rate entered to make sure it is within the range supported by the device. I'm changing the scan rate from its default of 100 Hz to 150 Hz. Hertz are the same units as samples per second. I'm leaving the Acquire Data Force setting at its default of 1 minute. Click OK. Now I'm going to change the display setting to manage how the plots appear during an acquisition. Select Edit Display Settings to open the Display Settings dialog box. Click on the Lanes tab and select Non-Overlap from the Scale Mode list box. This setting separates each plot on the strip chart. Click OK. Now click the Run button to acquire and display four channels of data. You can also change some settings such as the time base while data is being acquired using the hotspots on the strip chart. The time base setting controls the amount of data displayed. Decreasing the time base zooms in on a smaller amount of data and increasing the time base zooms out to display a larger amount of data. You can position these two markers to display a specific sample value on each channel along with the difference between each marker value. To view the marker values for each channel, select View, Marker Values. Once the scan stops, you can save the acquired data to a file. Select File Save As and enter a file name in the Save As dialog box. Select the file format from the Save As Type List box, a binary strip chart history file, a comma separated values file, or an ASCII text file. Click Save to save the file. Tracerdeck also allows you to save strip chart configurations to file for later retrieval. Close the strip chart window to return to the Tracer DAC dialog box. Next I will demonstrate the oscilloscope which logs and graphs data acquired from analog inputs. To launch the oscilloscope, select oscilloscope and click run. Configuring the hardware for the oscilloscope is basically the same as for the strip chart. The oscilloscope can acquire and display data from up to two analog input channels. Click OK to save the settings and return to the oscilloscope window. The oscilloscope includes a software trigger feature. Select Edit Trigger Settings to select a trigger channel and value. I'm selecting channel 0 to trigger an acquisition each time 5 volts is sampled on the falling edge. Click OK to save the settings and then click Start to acquire and display a block of data from channel 0 and 1 each time the trigger condition is met. The acquisition is triggered and then the trigger is rearmed each time a 5 volt value is detected on the falling edge of channel 0. You can change the trigger channel by clicking the hotspot associated with the channel and change the trigger value by moving these trigger indicators. Now I'm clicking the stop button to stop the acquisition. Both acquired data and oscilloscope configurations can be saved to file. Close the oscilloscope window to return to the Tracer DAC dialog box. Now I will demonstrate the function generator which generates waveforms for analog outputs. To launch it select the function generator and click run. Select file new to configure the hardware. Tracer Deck will output a waveform to analog output 0 on a USB 16.0 GX 2AO. Click OK to save your settings. The waveform displays on the function generator screen. 
Select Edit Channel Settings to display the Function Generator Channel Settings dialog box. You can set the amplitude or height of the waveform and the DC level or DC offset of the waveform. Click on the OK button to save your channel settings. Click the Run button on the Function Generator to start an output scan that outputs the waveform to the selected analog output channel. You can also change the amplitude and DC level settings while an acquisition is running by clicking these hotspots. When you are done generating the waveform, close the Function Generator window to return to the TracerDAC dialog box. Finally, a demonstration of the Rate Generator, which generates waveforms for counter and timer outputs. Select the Rate Generator option and click Run. Select File New, select an MCC device and counter timer output channel from the DAC hardware settings dialog box and click OK. Select Edit Channel Settings to display the Rate Generator Channel Settings dialog box. You can set the initial state of the waveform to high or low, the frequency of the waveform, and the duty cycle of the waveform. Click OK to save these settings. Now, click Start to output the waveform to the selected counter timer output channel. You can also change the initial state, frequency, and duty cycle of the waveform while an acquisition is running by clicking these hotspots. When you are done generating the waveform, close the rate generator to return to the TracerDAC dialog box. Information about all the virtual instruments and their features is available in the TracerDAC help file, which you can open by selecting Help, Help Topics from any of the TracerDAC virtual instruments windows. TracerDAC Pro is the professional version of TracerDAC that can be downloaded from mccdac.com. TracerDAC Pro is a purchase upgrade that offers more channels per virtual instrument and several other enhancements. To learn more about TracerDAC, visit us at mccdac.com forward slash TracerDAC. Thanks for watching.